at ease. I want to keep this briefing uh, brief. Time is a luxury we do not have. Direct cable communication has been maintained with Washington, but there is no radio at all. Now this much is certain. We have recently acquired new information from Majestic about the imminent threat to mankind. This is the enemy. Take a good look, gentlemen. They hail from the planet Gorta in the Proxima Centauri system and call themselves Furons. Their technology is generations ahead of ours. Their air power is superior and their arsenal is frightening. More disturbing evidence has emerged. THQ and Pandemic Studios are in bed with the enemy. Roll the film. From their innocent looking headquarters in Brisbane, Australia, comes mankind's greatest threat. Using advanced technology known as a computer, they have developed an alien training aid. We believe they have been consorting with the Furons under our very noses for a number of years. What you are about to see are the traitors to mankind. In the game, you get to uh, play one of the aliens called Cryptosporidium. He's looking for brain stems. Brain stems that have got ancient Furon DNA in them. They need it to, to reinvigorate them, their own, their own DNA pool. Doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand, but he's always out there grabbing brains. Human brains. Pathetic humans. All around town, you see them doing chicken dances. It's the Furon. He gets into their minds, their weak little minds. The Furons have psychic powers um, in the game we're making, of course. Um, they don't really exist. Um, for instance, they have uh, telekinesis. Um, they can pick up objects and um, throw them around. It's one Furon, Crypto. He, he uses psychokinesis and picks up the cows. And I don't know what he does with them. Why the cows? That's not all. It gets worse. Guns, tanks, bombs. They're like toys against them. This is what we're up against. Roll the film. They've got some pretty cool weapons, there's no doubt, particularly from the UFO. Well, UFOs definitely beat cars, there's no doubt about that, and um, gives you a much better view of the city and a bit more destructive power, and um, even on the ground, you know, using a jetpack sure beats walking. Um, you've got your classic death ray, which is just sort of singeing through the buildings and the cars. Those cars can be picked up with the PK ability and set fires alight elsewhere. Then you've got your quantum deconstructor, which is like the all out, the amazing weapon. It's the one that I guess you're not going to get many of in the game, and that's just going to blow everything to bits, basically. The aliens have vastly superior technology, and there's no way that you're going to stop them. I mean, you have to warn people. I mean, if you have to bring down the government to stop these things, you're going to have to do it! There'll be panic. There'll be chaos. They'll... They'll destroy all humans. In order to remind ourselves what exactly it is that we're up against. I asked the boys in the lab to cut together this next piece of film. The coolest thing about the game is uh, that uh, you can take the form of an alien and run amok in uh, human society. 50s America, I mean, let, let's face it, you've seen them. They've totally got it coming. The best thing about the game is it's it's different. Oh, I just love being able to play the alien for once and uh, the bad guy becomes the good guy. I love just getting in the UFO and just blowing stuff up. It's funny to mess with people's heads. In this game, it becomes a reality, and it's his fun. I don't think you understand the kind of power that these guys have. I mean, they've got one mission on planet Earth. They've got one desire, and that's to destroy all humans. This is no game, gentlemen. This is mankind's darkest hour. 